Hello Dragonfly Swarm, so Toma is finally coming out in a few days alongside Hotel's rerun and with his hangout event giving us big information as to what we can expect from him, I decided to go in depth with his kit and explain his strengths and weaknesses so that you might be able to decide whether it's worth investing in him. As a 4 star pyro utility unit, Toma fits a unique new role that only Bennett has ever compared to in which he's able to support many characters with the use of his shielding utility as well as pyro reactions, which garner some of the strongest reactions in the game. With his elemental skill, Toma kicks in a pyro AoE, dealing a bit of damage around him and producing a blazing barrier shield that scales in damage absorption based on his max HP. It's worth noting that the initial scaling on his shields aren't too high at all, given that at level 11 only 13% of his max HP scales the shields, however through various means of refreshing the barrier before it expires through passives, constellations, etc, you can actually stack the damage absorption of each barrier, granting up to a 37% max HP barrier on top of almost 5000 flat absorption at level 11, which is absolutely insane, because for comparison at at level 11, Zhang Li's shields only absorb up to 24% of his max HP with 3000 flat absorption points on top of that. Beyond this, however, Toma's burst allows him and his teammates to constantly refresh the blazing barriers once every second, which allows you to quickly stack up a nearly indestructible shield that has a pretty much 100% uptime. His burst also summons fiery cones of damage as well, but I think some people are assuming that's going to make him some sort of sub DPS damage dealer, when in fact, I don't think it is, but I'll get into that in a second. The bluff notes of Toma's kit is that he is by far one of the most efficient and powerful shielders in the game, even outperforming Zhang Li in certain situations when you compare their shield absorption capabilities. Beyond the sheer tankiness that he offers with his shields, however, they also come with a nearly 100% uptime and refresh themselves just by attacking. And this is all without constellations, because in all honesty, Toma is one of very few 4 stars that I'd say genuinely doesn't need his constellations to be at his best. Sure, cons are always good, and from what we saw in the hangout event, it's definitely worth picking up a few of his constellations if you're willing, but the coolest thing about it is that you don't need cons with Toma for him to perform really, really well. However, back to that damage dealing point I was talking about earlier, I think a lot of people are assuming that Toma will be able to deal massive damage as a sub DPS in comparison with Singcho, who has a similar burst ability to Toma. But the problem with that comparison is that Singcho's burst, especially with constellations, has multiple triggers that can all individually crit, hydro resistance shred, and can activate extremely fast. In comparison, Toma's fiery cones do trigger pretty fast, but there's only one instance of damage that can crit every time it hits, and the damage at level 8 is only about 93%, which really isn't impressive. So I wouldn't necessarily build Toma expecting him to deal massive damage on his own, but that doesn't at all make him less valuable as a unit, because he offers a lot of other utility in place of damage. There are however a few issues to consider with Toma, one of which being his pretty bad ICD. ICD means internal cooldown, and it kinda just refers to how fast he can trigger reactions. Toma's kinda bad at triggering reactions quickly, which makes him an iffy pick if you're looking for a pyro applicator that works with melt teams such as Ayaka plus Toma, or vape teams like Child plus Toma. But he can work with them, just not as efficiently as someone like Singcho can work with pyro characters. The really good thing about this however is that it means Toma works especially well with Hu Tao because he won't be able to consistently eat up her vaporizer melt reactions, allowing her to deal her own massive damage while he supports her with his burst and refreshing shields. So while his ICD makes it a bit difficult for him to work with some characters, it allows him to fit perfectly with others such as Hu Tao, Yoimiya, Kli, Yanfei, etc. The only other big problem I see with Toma right now is that there are like zero artifact set combinations that work perfectly with him. That's not to say that they don't work, it's just that they don't fully support his kit. For example, you can't really use 4-piece tenacity on him because his elemental skill doesn't work in a way that keeps the 4-piece passive active. And with 4-piece Emblem of Severed Fate, you're focusing heavily on his burst damage which isn't really a great investment considering it isn't designed to deal massive sub DPS damage. As for 2-piece sets, there's almost no combination of 2-piece bonuses that Toma fully and efficiently capitalizes on. So whatever set you do end up running with on Toma, you'll likely be left wanting a bit more out of the set bonuses, but your best options in my opinion are a 4-piece Noblesse Oblige, 2-piece Tenacity, 2-piece Emblem, or a combination of either Lava Walkers or Crimson Witch. So, my overall opinion on Toma right now is as follows, and it's pretty straightforward. He's a really valuable unit whose shielding capabilities are almost unmatched even by the shield god Zhang Li, and that is no simple feat. Beyond that, however, if you manage to see 6 Toma, his shields provide generally similar utility to Zhang Li's shields as well, making him not only a competitor to Zhang Li in shield absorption, but also in team utility, and he's a 4 star. If you have or are pulling for Hu Tao, he's an amazing pair with her and is really easy to build into her team as a shield. And in general, he works really well with pyro main DPS units for pyro resonance, pyro energy, and obviously his insane support capabilities that don't interfere with their reactions. However, if you want a character that plays offensively and enables your team to deal massive damage,
damage with reactions, huge sub DPS damage, etc., Toma is very likely going to disappoint you. His ICD is really slow and his burst damage is unimpressive, and even with the passives and artifact sets that'll boost his burst damage, it's not worth sacrificing the extra utility he can provide, in my opinion. But yeah, that's about it for my analysis. Um. Good luck if you're pulling, I will need good luck too. If you like this video and you want more content like it, please subscribe because it's been scientifically proven to give you a 5 star in your next 10 pull if you do so. Don't ask me, ask science.